can't think of anything more exciting than sharing the blind with a new hunter as they attempt to fill their very first tag. And that's exactly what we're doing today on Leading Ladies Outdoors. We join Callahan Zebel as she takes to the field on her very first turkey hunt with her mother Susie working the calls. Stick around. The National Wild Turkey Federation's Learn to Hunt program was put in place to introduce young and first-time hunters to the sport of hunting through first-hand experience. Now the Monroe County Long Spurs chapter is a true believer in this program and they've been participating for the past five years and it has been wildly successful. As part of the program's requirements, the hunters and mentors must attend classes teaching hunter ethics and firearm safety. This all occurs the day before the hunt. With the classroom time behind them, they get their guns out and head out to the range. Last minute tips from the instructor and the kids take their place out on the range. educating both child and parent, this program helps build a foundation for future hunting experiences as a family. This increases the odds that program participants will become lifelong hunters. As we look around the club, we see a lot of tense little faces anticipating what's coming next. of these instructors, these kids are proficient when they leave the range. This little sweetheart has no idea what the next 24 hours has in store for her. This is a hunt that will turn even veteran turkey hunters inside out. 
you're not going to want to miss this. Dedication to innovation. One boat. The most accurate technology. One cam. When the reward is within range. One moment. A name you can rely on. One choice. Matthews. Welcome back to Leading Ladies Outdoors. We're hunting eastern turkeys in Sparta, Wisconsin with first-time turkey hunter Callahan Zebel and her mom Susie. Now they're hunting an old family farm with 125 years of family history behind it. That makes this hunt extra special. It's early morning and Callie slips on her camel and heads out to the truck. This is going to be a day she will never forget. The darkness barely lifts before Callie spots some birds already on the ground. Ironically, they feed right past the very trucks that we came in.
With the morning hunt behind them, Callie and Susie head back to the sportsman's club for the mandatory noon check-in. One lucky hunter has bagged her first turkey and everybody shares in the moment. After hearing the good turkey story, they take a group photo and it's back to the blind for the afternoon hunt. This segment has been brought to you by Legends Ranch, redefining quality one hunt at a time. LegendsRanch.com This segment is brought to you by Advanced Whitetail Hunting, premium food plot, seed, and mineral. Now let's get back to that turkey hunting action. spots some birds feeding down in the valley. And when Susie starts to call, this Tom comes running. This Tom continues to feed slowly towards us, 30 yards, then 20, and Callie slowly struggles to get her gun into position. When she does, the turkey's walking directly in front of the stand. She takes aim, but is only comfortable shooting a bird that's standing still. Now we just need him to stop. Black well, Tom may have got the best of Calais this time, but stick around. Callahan Zebel is about to even up the odds. The 
Pink Arrow Project is a project started by Mary Hale, who was a cancer or cancer survivor herself. Um, she found a lot of outreach from her archery community and decided she wanted to give back to those fellow archers. She started a group called Archers Helping Archers, who have benefited each other and been there lending a hand to one another through times of need, whether it's cancer or any other situation. Uh, Mary really wanted to single out the archery community and sought out to have a pink arrow that would benefit breast cancer research and breast cancer survivors. So she went around to archery, or arrow companies rather, and struck gold with Victory. They were happy to get on board, thought it was a great project. So Victory's kind of taken off and done the pink arrow project with Mary. We have the only pink arrow that actually gives proceeds to the National Breast Cancer Research on pink arrow projects we have. Um, Mary carries out the pink arrow project by going into people's homes and finding those in need. She helps fund whatever their needs may be in that time, even if it's just uh, emotional. Mary's, I, I can never met a stronger person. She's really genuine in her caring. She'll go and help anybody she can. To find out more about the Pink Arrow Project, you can go to pinkarrowproject.com or the Victory Archery website. We also have a link to Mary Hale and the Pink Arrow Project. This segment is brought to you by Bear Sense. We make good sense. Welcome back to Leading Ladies Outdoors. We're in the turkey blind with first time hunter Callie Zebel and her mentor mom Susie as they experience her first day afield. And oh, what an interesting day it is proving to be. It's late afternoon and it's started to rain, but that doesn't dampen our young hunter's spirits at all. As a matter of fact, she just spotted four big toms headed her direction. It's not long and these four jakes hear the calls and see the decoy and come to investigate. Well, these birds are certainly close enough. They're just so tight together and they keep moving that Callie can't pick a target. She doesn't dare shoot them when they're that close together, and so she waits for them to separate and takes her shot. Okay, 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 take him. I miss them. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay. Don't feel bad, Callie. It happens to us all. It is so important that we encourage our young hunters. And I have yet to see anybody more supportive than Callie's mom, Susie. It didn't take long as she turned that situation around, lifted Callie's spirits, and she was back to looking out the blind for the next Tom. Callie spots movement to her right and gets her gun ready.
seeing Susie out there embracing Callie over that bird, I could not hold back my tears. It reminded me of the first bird that Brittany shot when she was 12 years old. You know, if you haven't hunted with your family, with your kids, you really need to make an effort to do so. You can't imagine what kind of lifetime memories that will create. That oh, white. so pretty. <laughs> Got it! Yes, you did! Oh my goodness, see that's why you never ever give up. Never ever. Told you I was giving. You were discouraged, but we hung in there. Wouldn't you know, our four toms, just like Dad told us, that they'd come back right in front of the blind to go to roost. They did, and I shot the last one. You shot the last one. And it went one. right through the tree. And Mom didn't even have to tell you, did you? Did no. I? He just said, get the last one, get the last one. I said, boom. Go ahead, take your He's shot just like, when you're ready. <laughs> and you put her down, didn't you? Good job. Wow. It's not a girl, Mom. <laughs> no, it's not. What a first hunt for my 10-year-old. This is um, NWTF Monroe County Long Spurs. Youth Learn to Hunt program, and I was fortunate enough to be her mentor. Awesome job. I cried. Oh no. Oh, that's awesome. The Monroe County Long Spurs serve as an excellent example of how to share our love of hunting with the next generation. Participate in the National Wild Turkey Federation's Learn to Hunt program, either as a hunter or a mentor and you can say that you've played a part in saving our sport and enriching the lives of families all across this great country. For Leading Ladies Outdoors, I'm Tammy Koenig saying join us next week and get out and enjoy God's country.